Greg, it's been a month since the Canucks last beat a playoff team. Do you still have faith in them with the playoffs right around the corner? Not if they keep playing like this, I don't. And certainly you got out to a really good, sizable lead. Think about this, Glenn. A, a month ago, I mean, that was the last time they beat a playoff team. But a month ago, they were well in front of the Edmonton Oilers. And it would be outside the realm of, of plausibility to think that the Edmonton Oilers could finish in first place. Well, that is a reality right now. Obviously, the Oilers have played exceptionally well. And the Vancouver Canucks have not. So when you open up the door for an opponent, in this case, the Edmonton Oilers, it's because you haven't played to the level that established that real significantly. And you can look at the loss of Thatcher Demko and say, well, they lost him. Well, the scoring has been a real problem for the uh, Vancouver Canucks, which you didn't think would be a problem. The penalty killing hasn't been very good. So as you're heading into the playoffs right now, and if you just look at today and you look at what their potential matchups could be, Vegas, LA Kings, Nashville, if the Vancouver Canucks are playing like this, they're not going to last very long in the playoffs. So they got 10 days to get their game in order heading into the playoffs. And it's really, really important that they find that higher level of play or it'll be a quick out for the Vancouver Canucks. Well, let's talk about one of these potential matchups. If the Canucks get caught by the Oilers, tonight's game could be a first-round preview. So if Vancouver does face Vegas, Craig, would you consider that to be a bad matchup for Vancouver? Not if Aiden Hill is unavailable. Because Thatcher Demko, if he's back and healthy, will give him a decided edge in the net. And you look at the Vegas Golden Knights. I know they're the reigning Stanley Cup champions, but they've had their stumbles and their bumbles through the course of the year. And yes, they have 90 plus points and, you know, finding your way. But this is not a team that's firing on all cylinders. If you go back to the first dozen or so games of the season for the Vegas Golden Knights, if they didn't have that start, they would be in a real battle for the playoffs. They'd be out of the playoffs. So it's not like the Vegas Golden Knights have their game totally in order. Recently, they've played better. But you look at their, uh, their uh, recent game against the Arizona Coyotes, up 4-1, to one, they lose 7-4. That's not the stuff of playoff success either. So if they were playing the Vegas Golden Knights, this might be the area where the Vancouver Canucks get the edge because of Thatcher Demko. Well, the Canucks have slipped to a tie for 10th in terms of the Stanley Cup odds on FanDuel, plus 1,500. The only Western Conference teams they have a better odds than the Preds and the Kings. Thanks for this, Craig.